joking for a few weeks now about a dream I had where I, like the poet Dante from the 15th century, visited the infernal realms. And he had the Roman poet Virgil as his guide as they wandered around this desolate hell space, literally. And so lately I had a dream where I had my own desolate hell space, but it was a bit more polite. I mean, there weren't people being poked with sticks and Ugh. and bathing in their own effluvia or in hot blood, among many other things, were being chewed up by Satan himself. Instead, it was a lovely place where people who were too polite and too apologetic during their lifetimes, as well as being sinners, went for their eternal punishment. And it was sort of a suburb of hell. It was a polite Hades where everyone just, sorry, 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 just, and this is a habit that I am working on and it feels like I am in a job interview trying really hard not to say the immortal words. Well, part of my problem is I am just way too hard on myself and I need everything to be so perfect. Ugh. Um, and umming and giving out unnecessary apologies. And one of my problems is that I'm still working on certain things like eye-hand coordination, so things drop here and there. Um, also, sometimes I confuse my words and I will give a completely different word for the one that I want and then I apologize for it because I don't want to... Well, I don't want to be that person saying, you know, the wrong word or forgetting the word that I want. So I'm apologizing left, right, and center. Oh gosh, sorry. No, really, I'm so sorry I dropped that. So one of my biggest goals right at the moment is learning how not to give unnecessary apologies and annoying the living snot out of myself and other people. So at the same time, I'm also hoping to work on my eye-hand coordination with just little things. And one of the tricks that I'm trying is just learning how to do fine motor skills from holding a pen properly, once again, uh, handwriting, cursive handwriting, because I cannot print, um, learning to do the winged eyeliner with liquid eyeliner, which is very, very fine, uh, which is very, very girly, but I've always been a bit of a girly girl to the point where sometimes people mock me for it. And so there's that, the occasional sewing. I'm trying to make for um, another doll, use it, you know, sewing and stitching and knotting, um, things like that. Uh, that will make me use my fine motor skills. Now, when it comes down to that, this, 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 and this are gross motor skills. Doing the lobster clasp with your forefinger and your thumb is actually a fine motor skill. And this is just something fun to do when you're kind of nervous and are just just waiting, just waiting, do, do, do. So, but among the many things that I'm working on is trying very, very hard to learn not to apologize unnecessarily and hope that the people around me know me well enough that when I make a mistake, it's a mistake and not me being a total dingus and that I don't have to be apologetic because I've made a mistake because all humans make mistakes. Um... And when it comes down to growth, 
just keep on going. Don't let myself be got at and try to avoid people who are not great for me. People who do the air freshener vampire bit uh, in the song that I'm linking above in the I card called Die Vampire Die that goes through a list of people from that person who looks at something creative that you do and nah you can't you can't no are you sure you can or I have a member a person in my life that likes to say things like oh are you sure you can do that are you really sure that seems really hard for you which doesn't help much and it starts me being negative on myself and thus starts the apologies once again when it's complicated and I'm frustrated and I'm exhausted and oh gosh I'm really sucking today I'm so sorry and the air freshener no no no, honey don't you know I was talking about some uh, old bad memories from my seizure uh, era when I was having seizures and some of the ones that I had one of them almost had me walking out onto a busy street completely in the grips of a seizure because I had tonic which is the full-blown uh, go stiff and then shake type seizure, the classic, and the complex partial in which you might be vaguely awake, but you're not really going to be able to see anything in front of you. You're just kind of walking in a fog to an extent. And I very nearly walked into traffic, which was tough. And then the person that I was supposed to be with, a friend that I thought would be there for me, uh, thought it was the funniest thing ever. And so that memory came roaring back and I got terrified when I couldn't find a car in the parking lot because everyone around here drives the same greenish gray SUV. And I hadn't. So I've taken to memorizing people's license plates or looking for a unique feature like a bike rack to know where I'm going. But that memory came roaring back and the per I was talking with the person after I found, I'm so, you know, kind of panicking and they were like, shh, 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 shh. Like those electric air freshener things. And there is the term air freshener vampire, where they're like, no, no, honey, don't think about that. Think of puppies and kittens. And you're almost tempted to do it right back to them to show you, show them how annoying that is. Because dude, bro, lady, bro, whatever, girl, sis, ma'am, that is annoying as hell. And I'm not sorry. Right, take care of yourselves and feel free for a, com a video coming up to ask me questions about seizures. Granted, there will be a few that I might not answer and there is one that I will absolutely not answer, but send me your questions. I will try to answer them in my unique way. And <laughs> lots of love. Uh, hope that you're feeling good and enjoy yourselves and love one another and love yourself and don't be so nervous that you're scared out of scared to death love you much good one